Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new video card from Gigabyte. This is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 760 Windforce Edition. Let's start off with a quick look at the retail box apart from the GPU, which is the GeForce GTX 760 from NVIDIA. You also get two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, Gigabyte's own OC Guru 2 overclocking software, which you can use from within your operating system to overclock the card beyond its already overclockedness since this is the OC version. Uh, this also features the wind force cooler designed specifically by Gigabyte, uh, which has sort of more of a, an exploded view look at that right back here. Features three fans and a triangle cool technology right there, which uses triangles to cool your video card. Uh, also direct heat pipe contact with the video card itself. Uh, and this is also a PCI Express Gen 3 card, so uh, best to be paired with a Gen 3 motherboard, although you can use it with a Gen 2 motherboard and uh, you won't really suffer a performance hit because it's really a bandwidth in increase and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, apart from that, the memory being two gigs uh, is also uh, running on a 256-bit interface. There's a rundown of the actual uh, display outputs that you have, and I'm gonna go ahead just just run right into an unboxing right here. That's just how today is going so far. So inside the box, we have some ooh, some very very plush, nice foam. I like the foam on this card. Okay, there's the card itself. We're gonna finish on that, and that is all that's in this box. There's nothing else. There's got to be something else in here. Aha! Tucked away underneath. Very clever Gigabyte, trying to trick me. All right, we have a couple power adapters right here. Uh, because you do need a, an 8-pin and a 6-pin PCI Express graphics power connector. Uh, this will take a couple Molex plugs, but honestly, if your power supply doesn't have these natively, double-check your wattage, maybe uh, maybe need to upgrade your graphics or your, your power supply to make sure you have enough power to power this card, but you have those as an option as well. Uh, here's a quick installation guide if you've never installed a graphics card before. You can also check out our How to Build a Computer video on Newegg TV. Finally, you get your uh, driver as well as this is also, I guess this is just your driver on here. Uh, chances are by the time you get this card, the driver on this, this will be outdated. So check the Gigabyte or NVIDIA website for the latest GeForce 700, 700 series drivers. And now look at the video card itself. I'm going to start off with a measurement here so you guys can get a good idea of uh, whether or not this will fit in your case. Just shy of 11 inches, as you can see down there. That's mostly the... Uh, wind force cooler, at least the shroud for the wind force cooler that's protruding there at the end a bit. Uh, but make sure you have uh, at least that length in your case in order to fit this card. Apart from that, uh, well, let's continue talking about the wind force cooler. You can see right here, this is the version that has the plastic shroud, uh, 375 millimeter fans are all going to be downward firing, and uh, those are going to push air down onto a couple uh, fin stacks. So you have an aluminum fin stack over here, that's kind of uh, your extra area. Those are That's connected by your main fin stack over here by three eight millimeter copper heat pipes, which you can probably see right in that area. It's also gonna be pushing air down over some of the other uh, power delivery componentry on the board to keep all that nice and cool. Uh, and then over here you have your main fin stack. And uh, I mentioned the triangle fin technology uh, towards the beginning. Essentially at the top you have kind of a ridge and it uh, pushes down on either side. So that helps to direct the air out either side. This is an open shroud design, so you are going to be pushing air out into your case, uh, which generally speaking isn't too big of a deal. Just make sure that you do have uh, adequate airflow in your case from front to back or bottom to the top to make sure that you're pushing out uh, any warm air that might come out from the card itself. Uh, finally, for the wind for force cooler down there at the bottom, uh, you do have a metal plate that's uh, going around to provide some direct contact with your uh, memory. And uh, you also have the direct uh, copper uh, heat pipe contact with the GPU itself, which, speaking of which, is right there. That's your uh, 760 GPU. Uh, I have some specs for that as well. Uh, it's going to be running along at a clock speed of 1085 megahertz. That's your base clock. It will uh, give you a boost clock, clock up to 1150 megahertz. So this is, the uh, again, the overclock version from Gigabyte. Uh, that GPU also has a total of 1,152 CUDA cores, uh, and it's paired up with 2 gigs of memory running along at 6,008 megahertz on a 256-bit bus. Uh, again, this is PCI Express Gen 3, so there's your PCI Express Gen 3 connector down there at the bottom. Again, physically backwards compatible with PCI Express Gen 2, so don't worry if you're running Gen 2, this card's still going to work and it's still going give, to give you a great performance boost, if you're, especially if you're upgrading from an older generation card. Around here at the back, we have our video outs. 
They're currently protected by some plastic caps. Let me just pop those off so you guys can get a better look. All right, uh, so this card uh, can push actually up to four displays out of the same card. You can use three of them for 3D gaming, and the fourth can be a companion display. Uh, first off, for DVI, you have a couple dual link DVI connectors over here. The top one is digital only. The bottom one is digital and analog. Uh, so if you do use a DVI to VGA adapter, it will only work with that lower one, so bear that in mind. Also, you have your uh, HDMI and your display port out on uh, display port and uh, the dual link DVIs can do up to 2560 by 1600 resolution. Also, you do have uh, a SLI compatibility, so you can pair up two, three, or four of these cards, depending on your motherboard, of course. Uh, ooh, that one went flying. Uh, by using the SLI bridges right there, you can pair the cards together. Um, two way SLI is probably going to be the most common configuration for that, although, if you do want to um, put a bunch of these together, you can. Uh, you also might notice you have a retaining brace right here. That's got the Gigabyte logo on it. It's going to provide some extra rigidity to the board. And um, let me actually flip this over because this is the view of the card that you will most likely get if you have it installed in your case. So you have a Gigabyte logo facing out just like that. Also notice the uh, PCB on the bottom, which is blue. This is using the reference layout from NVIDIA for the 760. Uh, and then apart from that, you can see a lot of the capacitors and other componentry that Gigabyte has in integrated onto the card. And then I should also point out right over here your power connectors. Again, you need a 6-pin and an 8-pin PCI Express um, graphics power connector. And uh, as far as your, or your power supply, uh, you do want at minimum a 500-watt power supply for the card and your entire system. And uh, generally speaking, I recommend going a bit beyond that just to make sure you have some extra headroom just in case you want to overclock or if you want to actually uh, go with a, an SLI configuration, for example. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, we've been taking a closer look at the new GeForce GTX 760 WinForce Edition overclocked from Gigabyte. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, while well, the like button is located right down there, go ahead and click it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Newegg TV if you'd like to see more tech videos. I'm Paul, and I will see you in the next video.